welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of several Tudor history books. Now we're remaining in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I today. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 4th of September 1588, about just a few weeks after he'd been so busy assembling troops at Tilbury Fort to protect England against an expected Spanish invasion, Queen Elizabeth I's favourite, Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester, died at his lodge at Cornbury near Woodstock in Oxfordshire. He was on his way to Buxton in the Peak District at the time to take the waters for his health because he'd been ill for some time with a recurring stomach ailment. Now Lester had written to Queen Elizabeth I, his childhood friend, just a few days earlier from the home of Lady Norris at Rycott. It was the final letter that he wrote to Elizabeth and I'm going to read it to you now, and if I get a bit choked up, I apologise in advance. I most humbly beseech your majesty to pardon your poor old servant to be thus bold in sending to know how my gracious lady doth, and what ease of her late pains she finds, being the chiefest thing in this world I do pray for, for her to have good health and long life. For my own poor case, I continue still your medicine and find that it amends much better than with any other thing that have been given me, thus hoping to find perfect cure at the bath with the continuance of my wanted prayer for your majesty's most happy preservation, I humbly kiss your foot. From, from your old lodging at Rycott, this Thursday morning, ready to take on my journey by your majesty's most faithful and obedient servant, R. Lester. And then a postscript. Even as I had writ this much, I received your majesty's token by young Tracy. Now Lester had known his queen since childhood and I believe that he had been her true love and uh, vice versa as well. Elizabeth, when she heard the news of Lester's death, was completely devastated. This was the man that she called her eyes or her sweet Robin. And she locked herself away in her chambers at St. James's Palace. And Sir Francis Walsingham wrote that he was unable to do any state business with the Queen by reason that she will not suffer anybody to access unto her, being very much grieved with the death of the Lord Steward. She stayed in her chamber for days and only came out when her doors were actually broken down on the orders of William Cecil. When the Queen received a letter from the Earls of Derby in Shrewsbury offering their congratulations on the victory over the Armada and their condolences on Leicester's death, she replied, We desire rather to forbear the remembrance thereof as a thing whereof we can admit no comfort, otherwise by submitting our will to God's inevitable appointment, who notwithstanding his goodness by the former prosperous news, have nevertheless been pleased to keep us in exercise by the loss of a personage so dear unto us. After Elizabeth's own death in March 1603, Leicester's final letter to her was found in the special treasure or keepsake box that she kept at her bedside. Elizabeth had actually written on the letter, his last letter. And she obviously treasured it, and I can imagine her reading and rereading it, and perhaps weeping over it, can't you? I find their story so sad, it is clear that they loved each other, but that Elizabeth viewed marriage to Leicester as impossible. But also, there is happiness there. They were there for each other throughout their lives and obviously had something very special together. So there is hope, there is happiness in it as, as well as it being being sad. So I'll leave you on that note. There is happiness to have loved, isn't there? So 
On this day in Tudor history, we have the death of Robert Dudley, um, that great love of Elizabeth I in 1588, just a few weeks after he'd been so busy on his Queen's behalf at Tilbury Fort. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button, which is round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as videos go live. And you can, of course, like this video too. I really appreciate you following these videos. I'll be back tomorrow with another Tudor goodie for you. See you then. Bye-bye.